Webheads, there are some great independent comic books getting ready to come out. Don't miss out. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions of what comic books to buy. And today, guys, I am bringing you the top 10 pulled indie comic books for january 19th 2022 that's right guys never miss out on those awesome indies because if you do you never know if you're going to see them on the racks again and yes you could pay premium price for these types of books but nevertheless 2021 was the year of the indie i'm going to call it there because there were some great ones and 2022 i think is going to deliver on all levels but before we jump into this video guys i just want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video which is mutantbeavercomics.com of course guys they have over a thousand exclusive comic book covers in their shop they provide worldwide sh uh, shipping and the best packaging and if you guys love what you see here on the screen when it comes to exclusive comic book covers just go on to mutantbeavercomics.com and you guys can use my promo code corner 10 and you can save 10 percent off your entire purchase and not only that purchase but in future purchases as well so again guys mutantbeavercomics.com don't miss out today i'll leave the link in the description box below all right guys so let's kick off this indie countdown with the book that's on the outside looking in now where do i get this information from i get it from league of comic geeks and what i do is i do a complete filter of books that are most pulled so this is the book that's right on the outside of number 10 and this one it goes to seven secrets issue 13 this is done by tom taylor this book is from boom studios and um, i read this book up until i think issue six or seven and then i wind up dropping off of it not because it was a poor book it's because i just fell behind and um for whatever reason i don't know if it was work or whatever it was but it was a really well written book and you have characters in here by the name of ava and casper and they're trying to escape from the seekers and the seekers are these people that are after these uh these secrets and it's about this book uh these super secret briefcases that if you open them something crazy happens the artwork had this very anime anime uh feel to it uh definitely a great story and uh, i love seeing tom taylor come out with his own comic book so this is a pretty good one i definitely will always recommend it this is four dollars all right so now we move on to number 10 and number 10 on this countdown is time before time issue nine sounds like a song <laughs> now i never read time before time issue one uh surprisingly because i do give a lot of these independent stories or image firsts a try and for whatever reason i just didn't uh a lot of the times time travel stories just confuse the shit out of me and i get pissed off in reading them so maybe that's why i didn't give this one a try um, but it looks like this is taking place uh in 2042 and again it's a time time story so if you're into that or maybe if you have already read it and you're looking forward to it it's coming out on the 19th 32 pages four dollars all right, so coming in at number nine on this list, and I, I dropped it. I was thinking about reading issue three, but I read issues one and two. Just not enough story for me, right? And this is uh, Righteous Thirst for Vengeance. This is issue four. And here's the description. How far would you go to protect a stranger and her child? The race to get out of town narrows as 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 a jackal goes on the prowl for sunny and neva now when i was reading the description of issue three it gave me more of a description on there than i actually read in any of the other you know two issues of the comic books i didn't know who the main character's name was i didn't know who any of the characters name was all i know is this guy who kind of stumbled on and maybe this this uh, black internet black web and he wound up taking this job is he good is he evil I don't know 
that may be intriguing to a lot of people, but I read so many comic books, I needed something to deliver a little bit more for me. So I'm not going to be picking up this one, but if you guys are, it's coming out. It's 32 pages. It's $4. All right, here's another one I dropped that I just couldn't get into this at all. And you're going to find that all of these independent titles that I mentioned here today have the longest ass names, right? This one is called What's the Furthest Place from Here? <laughs> and this is a double sized third issue. Um, you know, you can't beat the price of this. This is 48 pages. This is $4. But this is something that I just I just can't get into. It's this post-apocalyptic world where there are, um, no. it seems like there's no adults. There's all kids. And maybe like when you become old, you disappear, you die. There was this girl that was pregnant that I don't think she knew she was pregnant. And I think her name was Sid and she went missing. And the kids are trying to find her. And there's all these different like factions and people trying to survive. The one thing that took me out of this book, though, was the art. The art just was not for me in it. And then also, uh, it's just like when you're reading the book, it's like chapter 8, chapter 10, chapter 12, chapter 14. And it's like two pages would go by and you're in another chapter. I'm not reading a freaking novel. I'm reading a comic book, right? So that kind of pissed me off about it anyway. But I don't know who else is still reading about it or who's talking about it. But if you're into it, it's uh, like I said, it's four bucks and it's 48 pages. All right. And I am surprised to see this on the list. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised because this is a story that I feel will stand the test of time. This was so well written. Uh, this is The Walking Dead Deluxe. This is issue 31. Um What's so special about The Walking Dead Deluxe is that you could read it for the first time all over again in full color. That's what's so great about it. And you get to see kind of what Robert Kirkman was thinking at the end of the book when he uh, when he was writing the story at the time and kind of the changes that he made along the way. And I find that quite interesting. But if you never read Walking Dead when it first came out, this is your first time to read it. Uh, this is your time to read it for the first time. So this is a really good story right now, especially with when uh, Michonne just hit the scene recently. And, uh, and and it's pretty cool. I think they're in the in Woodbury right now and whatnot. So they're dealing with the governor and there's some crazy stuff that happens in this uh, story arc. So great stuff. If you've never read Walking Dead, guys, right? Especially maybe a younger audience out there and you're getting into independent comics, I definitely say pick this book up or go back and read the trades and read it and then read it from here. It's so good, man. I mean, things are just getting started when it comes to The Walking Dead. All right, so moving on to number six, most pulled independent comic for next week. This one goes to, we only find them when they're dead. Um... And I forgot what issue this is. I, I guess I didn't take a note on that. Uh, I thought this series was over. I guess maybe it was on a long hiatus. Uh, I think this is Al Ewing's book, if I, am I stand corrected here. And um, this indie just did not work for me. There was something here about the storytelling that I just did not enjoy. The artwork was all over the place. I couldn't make out the characters here. And um, this is one that I had high expectations for, and it just did not meet the mark for me so all as i know is that they found these big like celestial like beings and i think they were like dead and i don't know if they did resources from i i don't know again this one was like over my head couldn't get into it didn't even know this was still out maybe it was on a break but guys let me know if you're still reading we only find them when they're dead <laughs> All right, so are there any books that Mike Spider Slayer is enjoying and that is currently reading? Well, this next one is, and I feel like this one was delayed a little bit, but this one is The Silver Coin. This is issue eight, also done by Image. And um, The Silver Coin is this story about this coin right uh that is just bad luck you know you always have that that wise tale or that myth that whenever you pick up a, a coin maybe on the head sign it's good luck or you have that lucky coin well this bad is not lucky this bad is this coin is completely bad and whenever you pick it up something bad is going to happen to you right we see a kid get this coin play arcade games he becomes part of the arcade machine you wind up seeing um 
in the last issue where one guy was just like a gambler and he wound up getting killed <laughs> which was crazy and now it looks like you got this guy who was part of the stock market and looks like bad things are going to happen to him and i just love seeing all these one shot stories with this evil coin because i want to see the demise of these these characters does that make me evil does it make me a little bit dark <laughs> you know but i just love that so uh, i'm looking forward to the silver coins 32 pages four dollars all right next moving on to number four most anticipated and this one goes to tm and t number 125 and i said most pulled not most anticipated um so it looks like the turtles are going face to face with a territorial group and they call themselves the punk frogs <laughs> I don't know. It's the punk frogs. I don't read TMNT anymore. Uh, I used to a long time ago when this series came out. Then it changed like artists and then I dropped off of it. Who out there is reading TMNT? Let me know in the comments below. Are you still enjoying it? Are you excited for these punk frogs that are getting ready to come out? I mean, this is a first appearance, right? So we'll see what happens. 32 pages, $4. Or am I wrong? Maybe they did come out before. Next, most pulled comic. This is a book that's been around for a hot minute now. And this one is The Deadly Class. This is issue 50, titled Fond Farewell Part 2. Now, this is the conclusion to Saya's story. Will she choose to take her place as head of Kuroki Syndicate, or will she choose revenge? And will Marcus' final act be to betray his oldest friend this is another comic book that i kind of wish i stayed on for whatever reason i don't know why i fell off i mean at this point we're at issue 50 that was a long time ago there could have been other books i decided to read over this and i had to make cuts at one point and i just fell off of it but i remember reading the original issues of this when it first came out and this was a damn good story and um if you guys want to give this a try, um, I would say go out there, read those trade paperbacks. Always those first trades uh, or graphic novels are always like $10 from Image Comics. So they're definitely worth it. And then try to pick up the other trades from there and see if you dig the story or not. But this is a 50th issue. It's a milestone issue. And uh, I would say give it a try. You know, maybe you can jump on point after this one. So we'll see. All right. Coming in at number two, and I'm not surprised by this because Jeff Lemire, for me, he probably is one of those writers where I would say he was probably writer of the year for 2021. Everything that he's written has been absolutely awesome. Going into 2022 already, he's written that that Swamp Thing book from Black Label, from DC Black Label. That book was, man, that book was so good. I had my... I don't even have words to explain how well done that book was. It's just something about it just made me so intrigued with it. But this book here has to do with uh, the space race where we had um, Laika, which was the puppy, and Baker and Abel, which were the apes that went into space and they wound up getting lost into space. And they're trying to make their way back home. And there's these two doctors out there that actually realize that these animals are still alive, that they did not die, and they're trying to get in contact with them. This is such a well done story. I've said it many times already. Andrea Sorrentino does a great job at complimenting Jeff Lemire's writing in this I probably exceeds it uh, because you just get to see a lot of facial expressions a lot of small panel work that makes into bigger pictures uh, so well done guys this is definitely always a recommend on my list if it's still on the racks go ahead pick up issues one through four primordial issue five is awesome all right before we hit number one, I just want to say, don't leave after number one. There is Mike Spider Slayer's sleeper pick that I always choose after this. And, uh, and it's just kind of a book that I talk about that people may have missed out originally or is getting ready to come out that I think could be really good. So just stay tuned for that. So what is the number one pulled independent comic book for january 19th well that goes to king spawn issue six everyone's been digging 
the uh, King Spawn or Spawn books just in general. And they're digging the price tag, man. I mean, $2.99, you can't beat it. And it dis and it does look like that Disruptor is, uh, is coming back to the book, which I think got people really excited. And that's why this book is uh, number one on the list. I totally forgot about that uh, at the end of the last issue. And I didn't put it on my most anticipated video. So people are going to be like, Mike, where's King Spawn? I thought you loved it. I do, but there were so many good books getting ready to come out. And that's why I decided to do this video series because people wanted, you guys wanted more than just the top 10 most anticipated. So I also included now an indie list on top of that. So this way it gives you more stuff on what to look forward to coming out the following week, right? So back to Spawn, I'm definitely looking forward to that. You can't beat that price tag, $2.99, guys. God, can't we do that again for every comic book? People would buy so many more comics, I'm telling you. All right, so now moving on to Spider Slayer's Sleeper Pick. That's right, guys. So the book that you should not sleep on, especially if you're a wrestling fan, is The Crimson Cage. This is issue two. This is from AWA Upshot. Now, I'm not a huge wrestling fan, not anymore. I was when I was a kid. But this book captures wrestling back in the early 80s and how they did their business. And there is this guy who is number one ranked in his wrestling league. And the champ comes to town and they're going to do a fight. And the guy's just a scuzzball. And this dude wants nothing more than to become the champion, right? And he's getting pressure from his girlfriend and all this other stuff. And we get to see some crazy demons, you know, going, you know, kind of like like making the deal with the devil type of situation and I think we're going to see this guy become the champion and how he does it could be some way where it's just very dark this was such a very good issue this was so well written that it had me page turning like I love when comics are just like to the point where it's just like oh I can't wait to read the next page and then when it's over you're like oh my god you know you just don't get that many or as many comics as you used to that way this was re really well done. Again, if you're a wrestling fan, you'll appreciate this even more. If you're just a comic book fan, you're looking for something different, I don't know if you'll have that same effect, but it is a great story. So guys, there you have it. There are the top 10 pulled independent comics for January 19th, 2022. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this list. Hopefully you guys are getting used to this series coming out every Friday. Um, I love bringing it to you and all my other videos. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any content from me. And of course guys, Keep buying, keep collecting, and most importantly, keep reading those comics. Guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.